Howdy, welcome to the garage today. I'm Luke, known here on YouTube is Thunderhead289. Now I have my little dog here, Chug, with me today because, you know, with the coronavirus and all, she can't go to doggy school. So I got the kids in the garage with me, I guess. Now today in this video, we're gonna take a look at a Holly carburetor and review one of the mi most misadjusted settings that I've seen people have on these guys. Now Holly carburetors are nice in that they have a lot of uh, different settings and, and adjustments that you can make to them, but in having that ability, they also have a lot of things that people can get kind of messed up and, and off base. So today, we're gonna look at, um, from my Facebook page and everything that I review, one of the most misadjusted things that people oftentimes will band-aid with, you know, making other adjustments. So we're gonna nip in the butt today and just go right to the source and take a look. Let's jump right in. All right, so we got an up-close look here at our Holly carburetor. Now, the single most misadjusted item that I always see folks have is on their accelerator pump circuit on a Holly carburetor. And this is why, you know, they'll have lean stumbles off idle, a lean bog. Um, the purpose of an accelerator pump circuit is to fill the void in time between when you're transitioning from your idle into your main jet circuit. So if you open your throttle quickly, it takes a moment for the low pressure area to draw fuel up and out of your boosters and into your engine. So you have to mechanically put fuel into the engine at that time, which is the purpose of the accelerator pump. So just taking a look at the form and function of the unit here, basically in relation to the throttle lever, there's another lever back here that rides on a pump cam, which can have two or three positions. Now, position one being more fuel, usually associated with a lower idle scenario, position two being less fuel, usually associated with a um, higher idling scenario. So basically, and you know, it just kind of alters the profile of what this lever is following. So right now it's on position two, and basically as you open the throttle, it pushes down on this lever, which is an accelerator pump diaphragm, which moves mechanically, oh, there go all of our wrenches, which mechanically moves our fuel up to this little accelerator pump discharge nozzle, which you can have a myriad of different ones of these and everything, which um, by changing this, you alter your overall duration of spray. Where I see the misadjustment lie on these guys is actually in the linkage of the accelerator pump itself. Now, um, as you see here, there's a little bit of play in between the accelerator pump arm itself and the uh, pump diaphragm lever here. Now, if I had a nickel for every car I walked up to and could do this to their accelerator pump and they were complaining of an off idle stumble, you know, <laughs> I'd have a lot of nickels, I guess. So um, you don't wanna have this, because as you can see here, as you open the throttle, you know, we're getting a lot of throttle opening before that accelerator pump lever is ever engaging that diaphragm. So basically, you just have a nice little lean spot. If you open the throttle really quick, eventually it gets there, but now you have a window in time where you have a lean spot. So that's not what we wanna have, of course. And basically, just to show you the relationship, now this all follows the accelerator pump cam profile. Now, if you make adjustments to your throttle, now look, we have way less play. So whenever you adjust the curb idle screw on your Holly carburetor, you need to take a moment and then readjust your accelerator pump lever. All right, so I've done nothing else but went ahead and adjusted my nut up here on my accelerator pump lever. And now as you see, as soon as I start moving the throttle, it's getting into that accelerator pump a diaphragm lever. All right, so obviously on the linkage, this is normal operation. Now, one thing I want you to take note of is that when the carburetor is at wide open throttle, we're not compressing this spring at all. Now, on an engine where, or I guess on a carburetor that's on an engine where you actually have fuel in your circuit here, as you open your throttle, you'll actually see the spring compress momentarily and then fully depress. But even with fuel in the carburetor, when your throttle is open and held at this point, this spring should not be compressed at all. Now I see this more often than not, and remember that there is a direct relationship between your throttle, your curb idle screw setting, 
and your adjustment on your accelerator pump lever. And what folks do is they'll open this up and then basically when you work the throttle, you will not get full use out of your pump diaphragm because you are already somewhere down in the stroke on your accelerator pump and you know you can't i mean you reach a point where it's bottomed out and you'll actually see this spring compress because this uh, diaphragm lever all of that's bottomed out and then it will just compress the spring now the spring's in here to save the diaphragm so you don't destroy everything and all right so now i've loosened the adjustment nut a little bit which effectively has elongated our little uh, piece that contacts our accelerator pump lever now at this point Again, we're already at some point where we have consumed some of the stroke of our accelerator pump. And you'll see as we open the throttle, our accelerator pump level, lever will stop moving. And then basically our top lever here will start compressing the spring. So this won't be an immediate off idle lean scenario, but basically you've already consumed some of the stroke of your accelerator pump. So effectively you are gonna be discharging less overall volume it will have a shorter duration because you will run out of fuel sooner. So um, that's really not what you want to have happen either. As you can see, this is an issue. So if you work your throttle and you see this, you know, you're going to want to adjust this guy too. So to round out the video here, the biggest thing is you just want to be mindful of your um, pump cam adjustments. If you move this around, it's going to alter the relationship here on this accelerator, accelerator pump lever. <laughs> and then basically any adjustment you make to the curb idle screw, you're going to want to go back and again, reassess the position of your accelerator pump. Now, if all of, if you keep all this in mind, everything typically works harmoniously together with the parts and pieces that are originally supplied with your Holly right out of the box for a street engine, and you'll be in good shape and good to go. So with that, um, that'll do it for me on this video, and uh, I guess we can move through and do a walkthrough of the Edelbrock Carburetor 2. It's been a long time since I've talked about one of those. So anyway, we'll catch you guys for the next one, and um, take care.